Well, it seems that whenever I bring Ming Ming up north, I seem to get rewarded with the occasional moment of absolute paradise. And this is one this evening, only the second evening of our voyage. Got beautiful, beautiful conditions. And as we pan round, there is Fair Isle. looking magical. Oops. And we're running gently. Wind from the stern. Tide from the stern. That mesmerising sound of the water. Just so great to be back at sea again after 10 months on land. As I always say, it only needs one or two moments like this in a whole voyage just to make the whole thing worthwhile. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. Um, the sun is just, I think, about to come up, but right on the other side of Fula that we're just passing at the moment. I wasn't really able to set a course to come right close in because I've been uh, sleeping for the last few hours, on and off. And so I didn't dare have a course direct for the island, so we're a little way off, but it's an absolutely amazing sight. These uh, huge black cliffs and then further behind are some of the uh, hills of mainland Shetlands. But there's a very dramatic view of Fula. Well, here's a little clip for uh, Peter Forthman of Wind Pilot, which you might want eventually for his uh, his website, just to show the Wind Pilot Pacific Light in action. You'll notice that the the wind vane and the pendulum are both very very vertical. That the tiller is more or less centred. In other words, everything is very much in line. Very important to to do this uh, when the tiller is actually connected to make sure that everything is beautifully lined up. It's also extremely important to make sure that the boat is well balanced because of, you can't expect the self-steering to steer the boat and make good deficiencies in the balance. Now you'll see here that everything is very, very light. You'll also notice that my steering lines are fairly, fairly slack. Some people advocate having them very tight. I prefer to have some play in them, um, mainly uh, because if the rudder gets hit by a wave, um, it will, it's, there'll be a little bit of give in it. I once uh, lost a steering system through having everything too tight. So I prefer to keep a bit of play so that everything's a bit loose and is not under too much strain. You see that that, uh, that tiller there is, uh, is quite relaxed. It's not, it's not, uh, not overly um, clamped by the steering lines, but because the boat is well balanced, um, and I'm, been very careful to ensure um, in every point of sailing that I have a very light on the helm um, and all that the self-steering doing is doing is correcting the 
the larger um, discrepancies that sometimes occur. But as you'll see, there's very, very little movement and everything is straight, vertical and in line. And that's what you need to, uh, to aim for to really get these gears working properly.